Hello and welcome to day 11 of this game development journal. This will be another uh, shorter video. I did do quite a bit uh, today, but mainly research and um, I redid the map. I actually went and deleted everything I had on the map. Uh, again, this is not a final map. We actually today, uh, cross our fingers, we got a um, in contact with an artist who's going to do some artwork for the game. Uh, and hopefully he can design us a really cool world by the name of Eric. So. Um, let's go through and just see what I did. I just was playing with this to see some concepts here. I'm just working on um, mainly getting the um, collision to work. And I'm going to start re-implementing a lot of the different features I had before with my new character. I'm just finishing up the animations for that. So let's take a look at this world. Um, I completed more of the tiles uh, to the point where I could use them a little bit better. So I have that. I was just defining seeing if I could have a walkway. And if I had these rocks on the edge, would that look good? Or do I need to develop another type of sprite for that? I was seeing the multi-level terrain here, the trees, and a test building. Um, so just some basic things. So let's just dive into the game here and take a look. Now, the other thing I worked on was, before we do the game, because it's sort of, we're stuck here until I show you this feature, is a uh, camera zoom feature. So on a cutscene, in the cutscene database, I added some uh, parameters here for, um, this is way too fast, we'll go like this, um, for zooming the camera into a certain point, right? So when the cutscene triggers, I'm going to zoom the camera in and then the actors are going to start doing some stuff. And we can have that turned on or off for different speeds or different zoom levels depending on the cutscene and the scenery around. Like it may depend if we're inside a room or in nature or whatever. So interesting uh, stuff, I've just worked on adding that today. Next thing I'm going to do is add on uh, having the actors walk around, having that developed inside the cutscene database. So each database will keep track of all the information for that cutscene. So I just load that database in, and the cutscene plays, and then it's done. So essentially that's what I did there. The cutscene controller manages this. So I come through, I had the default set up, and then um, yeah, I set up the uh, stuff from the database here for the um, the camera zoom and the camera zoom speed. And down here on trigger, I start a co-routine uh, co uh, co uh, to zoom the camera into this uh, particular point. And I come down here to the eye enumerator and I start cycling through until the camera is zoomed in step by step through all the different frames. So as the time rolls on and depending on the zoom speed, it zooms into a certain point. So let's take a look at that in, uh, in action here. So I'm just going to play the scene. Um, I like the I like the way this is working out. The Obviously the tile map could be a little bit improved, and obviously this building needs to be improved, but I do sort of like it. I, like I'm not against it at all for it to being as basic as it is. So I'm walking around. I have at the bottom of this path where it goes into the T there, I have the cutscene. So when I walk into it, you're going to see the dialogue come up and zoom in. And I'm going to change how that happens. Maybe it happens to zoom in and then the dialogue pops up. But for now, it just sort of all happens at once. So let's walk down here and it zooms in, right? So now I'm in the cutscene area where I can have the actors doing some stuff. I can see them a little bit more clearly, uh, a little bit more detail on the actual characters. I may have the camera actually move position down so the character is in a different spot, but that all depends on how the text is, is accomplished and that is still up for discussion. So for now, this is sort of zooms in. I can walk through the text like this and then the text is done and it zooms. Uh, that is awkward. I'm not too sure why that is happening. That did not happen before. Let's um, see what that is here. So let's go into the code and see if we can debug that because it wasn't happening a few seconds ago. So the uh, original, hmm, I haven't really changed anything. So let's just try it again. I wonder what, I wonder what that was there. Go in, zooms in, boom, 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 zooms out. Very weird. Very weird. Uh, let's just try again. Was that a, just an edge case, a bug, or was that an actual bug? Zooms in. Maybe it's because I took forever. So I'm just going to hold it here forever. And then wait, 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 wait. No, it's it, oh, weird. Anyways, weird edge case on camera. So um, I don't think I'll be able to reproduce that. So here's my map. I sort of, uh, I like how that is. I can come down all the way. I was also testing 
If my character comes down to here, how much do I have to show? Typically games will do this with a high wall or a tree line. I thought it might be nice for a beach line, but I still needed to stop the character from moving the camera down that far. There are techniques where I can have the character move all the way down to the edge and just stop panning the camera at a certain point. Like here you can see um, how the background green shows up. The Obviously the scenery isn't far enough over to the left. But there is a case where I, if I have the character here, I just stop the camera from moving over. So that might be an option. There's different techniques for designing this type of stuff. And the map is just sort of temporary right now. So this is all... Uh, I can go where I'm not supposed to go. Um, yeah, so this is all just temporary. But we can come back up here. Nice. And there you have it. So that's all I worked on today. We ran into that weird bug for some reason. We'll just try that one more time just to make sure. But yeah, very awkward. Um, boom, boom. Okay. Very nice. So I like that zoom. It's nice and smooth. It um, does its job. And it's going to be able to show the actual character interaction a little bit better being up and close. And again, that's all built in the database. So I can change it per scene. I can make it zoom in more or less, faster, slower, or nothing at all. And I can also, I'm going to set it up so the camera may even move, you know, to the left or the right to set the scene up a little bit better. So these are all things I'm building out this uh, cutscene dialogue engine or utility um, to make that a little bit easier throughout the entire game that's going to be utilizing it. Might as well take the time up front right now to get a little bit of a, a system in place to make that easy for the future. Thanks for watching Day 11, and this is the Game Development Journal using Unity, C-Sharp, and uh, the tile for the tile map. So talk to you later. Bye-bye.